He was just stemming up field, so I was like, you know, I could stay closer to my buck linebacker who isn't as fast as a wide receiver would be. So I just stayed, stayed tight. I see the QB look right, but then he comes back to my side, and I was like, at first I was like, he can't throw it because he he has to see me right there and on top of him. And then I just see the ball come towards me. And I was like, either he's gonna catch it or me. So I was like, boom! All of a sudden I have the ball, and I was like, you know what? Turn left. I look left, and I see green grass, and I'm just like taking off, and I see my whole defensive boys they just coming up leading a wall and I was like here we go it's like either I score or I'm, I'm down at wherever I'm at and the offense can take care of it from there you know they get another chance and so this is really really fun even though the head coach is saying watch up here get down get down get down get down <laughs> <laughs> completely ignored I mean not, not good. He could hear me. I saw, I saw him look right at me. And then I, I moved so he could see even better, and he just ran right by. So the rule now is what we talked about in the defensive room is you can ignore the head coach only if you score touchdowns.